Welcome to Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bulmash as he takes a fresh look at today's most interesting health topics with functional medicine's leading doctors and experts. Learn how to feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit in the way nature intended. Catch him live every other Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Over the next hour, we'll introduce you to some fascinating people and engaging discussions that may provide you with answers to assist in revolutionizing your own personal health. And now, here's Dr. Nelson. Hey, everybody. Dr. Nelson Bullmash here, the host of Health Matters on the UI Media Network. Thank you for joining us. We have a big storm that's coming through. And yes, you know it's a Tuesday here in, in the summer and the fall of Georgia because I have been rained upon. So I have that wet rat look. I apologize for that. Anyhow, I have my very good friend, Dr. Ken Kasky here. He has what I consider one of the neatest and best functional medicine or anti-aging centers in the United States. And he has healing modalities that will wow you. And for good reason, because they're some of the most powerful and effective strategies and modalities that are available to humankind this day and for the future. And we're going to talk about them and we're going to see if they're applicable to you and if you can find somebody that offers what he offers because it will change your life. I share a story, an interesting event, an interesting happening that occurred to me. I don't know, Ken, how long ago was it that you called me and you said, hey, I want to talk to you? Remember mm. that conversation we had? Was that a year ago, two years ago? Uh, not quite, I don't think. I think it was more like probably about... Uh... Maybe 10 months or so, maybe a little under a year. Okay. Okay. Somewhere Something around like a year. Yeah. So I had a great show and somebody called and I thought, Ken Kasky, I know that name. And I, and I remember as soon as I heard his voice, I called him back. He said, Hey, Nelson, I'm Dr. Ken Kasky. We went to school together. And I went, I recognize your voice. So we went to school, as we mentioned in our pre-show video, some years ago. Remember we're metabolically in our twenties. Let's leave it at that. No other, no further questions on this issue. And Ken said, Nelson, I heard you talk about some of the health challenges you're having. So I'm going to share a little bit about that with you because it's germane to why I have Ken here. I know you think he's just a handsome guy and he's here to beautify the set. And that's partially true. But he's actually a very bright guy and has incredible insight on how to improve your health, as he did for me about a year ago. I've had COVID several times and I really struggled after the first time with breathing. And one day I thought I got to check my oxygen saturation rate because I was super struggling to breathe with a mask. It was almost impossible for me. And so I started routinely checking myself various times a day. And I found that I was cruising at about 82% saturation. And that explained why I was having such serious breathing problems. Now you put a mask on that. I was probably in the seventies, not happy, not thriving, living with very, very bad headaches from low oxygen all day. And Ken called me, as I mentioned, he left me a message. He said, call me, I can help you. And he said, listen to me, let me put you in one of my chambers. I said, interesting, Ken, you, you think that'll help me? He said, I think it'll change your life. He was right. He was absolutely right. After about five sessions, I couldn't believe how much better I was breathing. Uh, I think I've done 18. Is that about right? Ken? Mm -hmm. Done about 18 sessions. Now they're 90 minute sessions. You're you're at pressure for about an hour. So they have to, to get you to pressure. That's about 15 minutes. And then they have to decompress you at the end of your hour. And that also takes about 15 minutes. So you're in a chamber enjoying your favorite scenes, movies, music, reading, whatever you want to do for about 90 minutes. So after the first session, I thought, you know, Ken, maybe I'm making this up, but I think I'm breathing better. Well, by the fifth visit, there was no question that I was breathing dramatically better. And in a matter of probably eight or 10 visits, I got the most improved award. My oxygen saturation jumped up to 97%. Typically today, it's 98%. Now, Ken isn't going to tell you, nor am I, that I, we can tell you that we can guarantee that. That's not going to happen. What I can tell you is that I followed his protocols. I did his zirconia laser treatment for my lungs and for a hiatal hernia issue, which was also making it harder for me to breathe. And I also did some cryotherapy at his place. We're going to talk about all these healing modalities and why they're so effective. And then he's got some others as well, like far infrared and foot baths and chiropractic care. So this changed my life. 
then Ken became one of the sponsors for my show. And Ken, I'm extremely grateful to have you on the show today. It's an honor and a privilege to have you here. Thank you. And thank you for being one of the sponsors, the co-sponsors of my show. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to introduce him formally now, and we're going to we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to talk about why these therapies are so important. Now remember, we can't tell you that we're going to guarantee anything. I can only tell you anecdotally that I had a tremendous improvement. I would also share with you that I saw others at his center have tremendous improvements in their health, particularly their ability to heal. I saw somebody there that had uh, very bad injuries from a severe automobile accident who did very, very well doing the oxygen chamber. Why? Because you increase the oxygen delivery to the cells so you can heal better, more, more quickly, if you will. And it made a huge difference for him. I saw a woman who had severe lung damage from COVID who, I want to say, Ken, after her eighth visit, told me she was breathing essentially normally. Mm -hmm. So we can't guarantee anything, but we can tell you anecdotally that many people, including me, have done this and have done very, very well. Dr. Ken Kasky. It's a pleasure to have you here, my friend. Thank you for joining me on my show. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure, pleasure, yes. So, Ken, first of all, I want to know why, what, what happened? What's the story behind the center that you devote? Because you have an incredible world-class center. Tell us about what happened in the forming of that. Well, initially, I really had no intentions of doing this. Okay. Hard to believe, but got yeah, it. I know, right. Um, we were blessed with a daughter... 30 years ago, very premature, um, who developed autism and also because of uh, abnormalities in um, her physical appearance, has over undergone over 70 some surgeries. Wow. Um, uh, or at least uh, under anesthesia, probably at least 50 plus surgeries. And uh, back in the day, I got, I got involved with um, the cold laser and saw that at um, a mentor of mine seminar and other things that he had there, foot baths, et cetera. And then um, based on autism and, and what she had and how she was developing, we, uh, we, through Jenny McCarthy and the Defeat Autism Now Network back in the early 90s, uh, we purchased a mild hyperbaric and put it in the home. And we started getting in, me every night, every other night, and my wife every other night. And we saw drastic changes in not only her, but in our own health. And um, that went on for years. And then I gradually added uh, foot baths to the home, the cold laser. Right. And, and then in 2015, we, we put in an infrared sauna based on um, what had been uh, told, what that would do for detoxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, in 2000, and then I was working three days a week, um, uh, chiropractically downtown and and seeing people at the house um, on those other days. And in 2018, I, I took an autism master course um, and 22 weeks and was just going to basically start uh, doing everything out of the basement in the house because we had enough people coming in, living on some Social Security and maybe playing some golf and then uh, Skyping autism internationally. Um, some people that had been to the house and had been through the detox program and been in the chamber, the mild chamber at the house, and we saw drastic things even even with the mild chamber. And forgive me for interrupting, Ken. Sure. What is the difference between what you're referring to as a mild chamber and the and the big hyperbaric units that you have at your center now? Well, the, the mild chamber, not to say that they don't work, but uh, they're a mild zip-up chamber, a canvas chamber, and... Um, they deliver oxygen through a concentrator. It creates oxygen. And then there's a compressor that does the pressurization. Mm -hmm. Those are only at what we call four PSI or four pounds per square inch, inch. of pressure. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. um, good, but not very strong as to um, what hyperbaric is about. And hyperbaric is about that balance of taking pressure and dosage and amounts of oxygen, and the more the pressure, the deeper you can push the oxygen right. into the into the body. So it worked, and and but we also when we got certified because initially I went the way I was supposed to. I had to learn everything about hyperbaric. 
I wasn't one to just put a chamber in the house. Of course. Like a lot of people have right. done recently. Mm -hmm. And even some offices, and they haven't gone to learn all the gas laws and the training and the certification on what hyperbaric does to the body. And, and so we had learned all those, and our basic premise was to deliver that oxygen, Nelson, through a breathing mask. So we were getting that oxygen directly from the concentrator at 94% pure oxygen. Um, had we had a different type of mask called an anesthesia mask, which I now use in, in, in with some clients, right. then they get them 100% pure oxygen. Well, if you're not using the mask, then you're mixing that oxygen coming in with the air that's pressurizing the chamber. Chamber. So you're, it works, but you're only getting 47% oxygen. So know. it's about half the, the oxygen delivery. H half the oxygen delivery. And, and a fraction only, of the pressure. And yeah, and a real drop in pressure. Our chambers now um, came out of a hospital and they go to 30 PSI. That's seven times the pressure of the little one. And, but yet we still deliver it through a mask. So we're getting that 94 or 98% pushing that not only into the body, but completely into the mitochondria. Right. Okay. Of the, of the, of the cell. And actually, um, Dr. Paul Harsh, one of the leaders, had a tremendous uh, webinar just this last Saturday. And it's amazing how he described now how when we push that into the nucleus, we're actually now invigorating the DNA. Wait a minute. Let me. I'm, I want to make sure I'm hearing this correctly because you, okay. you just you just dropped a mic on me right here, Kent. Right. I. I what I what I thought, and this is why I'm, it's so <laughs> wonderful to have you here. You're, you're you're so knowledgeable about this. One of the things that I thought was this is unbelievable. This hyperbaric oxygen therapy work because what you're doing is you're really improving the microcirculation of a human being, and and I say that because. One of the things that I realize, Ken, as we get older, one of the biggest problems we have is we lose effective microcirculation. Yes. I was sitting there in a movie theater the other night with my hands up like this, and I went, you got to be kidding me. My fingers are falling asleep because my hands are on the, you know, the side of these beautiful chairs that you lean back on. I, by the way, I didn't have that when I was seeing you. Now, I had a, a sinus issue. I wasn't able to go in because I, I, I couldn't release the pressure, so I didn't dare go in your hyperbaric chamber. I, I might have come out with a, a, a bloody nose issue, if you will, so you don't, you, know, you don't go in if you've got a sinus infection. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Okay, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that wouldn't be comfortable. So it's interesting because what you just said was that not only are you improving microcirculation, which means you're going to dramatically improve, improve recovery from athletes or People, I'm, I'm going to guess, even people who have some kind of atherosclerotic placking or have dementia, you're going to be getting much greater O2 delivery into their brains, into their cells, whether they control their heart or their liver or their muscles. So you're going to get greater performance. But you're now saying that you can also improve the oxygenation of the DNA. I heard that correctly. Yes, you did. Talk more about that, please. Okay. That's incredible. Well, oxygen and cells are responsive and, and the oxygen actually stimulates the cells to grow and divide. And if you have cell division, then you have new tissue and you have replication, okay? And, and the division process is they break off of the gene products. They actually did a test where they can measure now. They, they've been able to take either proteins or enzymes, actually. Right. Okay, which was really cool. And they put them in a Petri dish and lined them up. Okay. We got it. Then they gave them one dose of hyperbaric oxygen. They waited 24 hours and they looked for the results. Okay. The gene output increased 40%. Okay. In 24 hours. Okay. And of the 8,101, okay, proteins out of the 19,000 some proteins that we have that control our genetic makeup in every human being, okay? What was cool was that cluster that improved was of that big proportion was the anti-inflammatory genes. Wow. So it was automatically shutting down inflammation. Hold that thought. Okay. We got to take a commercial break here. We're right on time here, folks. 
and I don't want to interrupt you. I want to hear all of this, Ken, without interruption. Hey, folks, I'm Dr. Nelson Bullmesh. You're listening to another edition of Health Matters. We're going to be right back, and we're going to talk about how hyperbaric oxygen therapy does many things, including favorably altering your DNA and dramatically decreasing inflammation. And the thing Ken hasn't talked about, but I'm going to push him a little bit on this, is how it can dramatically improve your ATP synthesis and therefore give you way more cellular energy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Safety Air Purification Systems, an air purifier with robust technologies that can filter, sterilize, and re-energize large quantities of air at a whisper quiet volume. It features a proprietary HEPA RX and pre-filter that act as a capturing layer going for big particles and ultra-fine particles. Its next layer is an activated carbon filter that absorbs and captures volatile organic compounds and noxious odors. From viruses to bacteria, its kill chamber packs a three-punch layer to destroy over 99% of anything that remains in the air. And while most air purifiers stop at the capture or kill stage, Safety Air Purifier takes it one step further, re-energizing clean, pure, sterilized air by creating negative ions within the revitalizing chamber. The Safety Air Purifier also monitors air quality in real time, utilizing smart sensor technology that helps you breathe better air, increase productivity, and improve morale. But don't just take our word for it. Ask the thousands of workplaces we've helped. Fortune 500 companies, dental offices, senior facilities, K-12 schools and universities, and professional sports teams. The Safety Air Purifier's robust technology combined to protect you against indoor air pollutants and viruses to make the most powerful yet quietest air purifier. Safety Air Purification. Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson Bullmesh here. I want to thank my sponsors. And of course, I mentioned that Dr. Ken Kasky at Advanced Recovery Therapy Center is one of my sponsors. Love the guys over at Safety Air Filtration Systems. They are amazing. And I say to them, thank you so much for sponsoring my show during the pandemic. I love you guys. And I maintain that you have the most effective, powerful, portable air filtration system producing surgical quality air that has yet to be made. And love your systems. I use them in my practice. And Ken, the thing everybody says is, Nelson, you have the cleanest smelling air of any practice I've ever been in. Yes, you're right. I have surgically clean air at 99.99% clean. All right, Ken, I got to jump back in here with you because my mind is running wild with questions. Let's pick up where we were. So you said that they did this interesting study where we were talking about laying out Petri dishes right. and, and they were subjected to... What conditions in the hyperbaric? Do you happen to know? I, have, I really don't know what. what but they were they were put in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. They were they were given a hyperbaric oxygen treatment therapy. Okay, uh, one time, and I don't know what the pressures or the dosage at that time was, but what it does, oxygen signalized to turn on the gene products. Okay, right, the proteins or the enzymes. Okay, and those things are what make up the human body. Okay. Okay, and when you get that cellular division, then you're talking about repairing and repairing and recovery. So you report, and then actually, when when they shut down the inflammatory genes and increase the anti-inflammatory genes. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. You're actually looking at hormone genes at the same time as well. Okay. So yeah, they can not only increase that, but they can also stop the program cell death. Death. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I want to I make sure I'm hearing yep. you right. Yep. So number one, it decreases the inflammatory cascade. Yes. Number two, and you didn't mention this, but I think I'm right on this, it increases ATP synthesis. Yes. So you right. get far more energy in the cell to function, to repair, to divide. Right. And, and as a result, of course, you're going to have a healthier cell. So it doesn't only hit the mitochondria, it hits the actual nucleus of that cell and of the mitochondria. So you're looking at the basic what we are. Now, I'm going to infer from this that you're going to get, would it be acceptable to say better DNA? That's probably not quite right. More uh, robust DNA? In other words, maybe less mutations? 
Uh, there's a good chance of that. Okay. Actually, to even be able to net uh, what, what Dr. Harsh is looking at with the possibility of being able to look at that genetic makeup and say you're predisposed from generations that have had high blood pressure mm -hmm. or heart disease. Well, you're going to be able to stop that cascade of cellular destruction or wow. taking that on. Right? That's, that's incredible. So, so in other words, by altering the inflammatory cascade, you're not going. You're going to alter the signaling of the DNA, right? So right. that you're going to alter whether mutations are expressed or non-mutations. Healthy expression occurs. Right. Exactly. Oh, I'm excited about this. That could be very possible. Okay. Yeah. And that's how how we age too, because cells stop dividing, and the telomeres get shorter yes. and weaker. Okay. And it's already been shown with Israel studies, and now a lot of even our. Our, our good friend, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, okay? Yes. When we incorporate those other things together. The peptides. The, the peptides. Russian peptides. And it, that we can keep those telomeres strong. And the hyperbaric can alter that cell the destruction. So, so wow. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. My my mind is racing at a 1,000 miles per hour. I threw this at him. This, yeah, I, I, I was unaware that I was going to get this kind of potent information. So I want to go through this with you. Okay. So we know historically and through years and decades of testing that two of the Russian peptides in particular, endolutin and vladinix, have been proven by Russian scientists to actually activate the telomerase enzyme and in doing so increase the length of the telomeres, which means you have greater longevity of your cells because you have longer telomeres, which means you have more cellular replications. Now, I want to tie what you said into this. Am I hearing correctly that you now know that you also increase the activation of telomerase enzyme and increase the lengthening of the telomeres by doing hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Yeah, only that is what's on. So when we combine all of these things together, you know, that's why we're only 20. You understand? Did you hear what he just said? This is why we're only 20 years old. Right. Okay. <laughs> I love that. Okay. This is this is this is amazing. So we now have we now have two very powerful things, Ken. Yes. To increase telomeres. Remember, folks, when your telomeres shorten to the point where you can't replicate cells anymore, you die. So if you live a life that is very driven to produce inflammation, you hasten the shortening of the telomeres. And in doing so, you shorten your life. So now we've just given you two, check me out here, two ways, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the Russian peptides, endolutin, latinix, to increase your telomeres. That was the, the price to get in today, that alone. Well, and then, then when we look at, you know, unfortunately, um, the United States, and not necessarily want to go that direction, but they're only really allowed to take care of 14 or so different um, symptoms and, and that. Um, using the hyperbaric therapy? Using the hyperbaric therapy. What are some and, of those, by the way, Ken? Uh, wound care, crush injuries, diabetes. Um, um, uh, they're, they're, looking at, they're looking at a couple other ones. Nothing, only the ones that insurance pays for um, they're used around the world for, as harsh and we all look at, um, well over 150 different things that they use them for and that have been researched and approved um, internationally. And due to the fact we're just a wellness center, um, we don't treat, we don't claim to treat, but we have access course, to those. Of course, To be able to help people. And, and there are so many different things that it can help, especially what we're really seeing the, for the last few months is with the COVID and any kind of brain issue. Um, and that's another way I got into this. These people that were coming to the house were like, you can't sit in the house. You got to go find those big chambers. And these people were with the NFL yeah. alumni and they were like, hey, look at Joe Namath. He, he, he took that that black half dead brain to to a toddler brain in four months in that big chamber. So tell tell us more about that, Ken. I, I, this is this is imperative that you hear this because this is the next pearl that you want to get from well, this podcast. That, Joe Namath went out there excel. You can just you can Google the Joe Namath story 
But and tell them a little bit about, do you mind telling them a little bit about this? Oh, no. no, no, Here, no. Here's why I say this, Ken, because there are now hundreds of NFL players, retired mostly, right? Right. Who have gotten their brains back. And I'm, I'm listen, I'm not being funny here. I know that a lot of people joke about this. This isn't funny to me at all. But uh, years ago, I read a study that really horrified me. They did what's called an impact study analysis on NFL players. They wanted to determine the amount of damage that was being done by these these football players hitting each other. And the takeaway for me was the impact of these players on many plays was so violent and so powerful that the conclusion was that the average person would be killed, not injured, killed by the impact that these players were having. In comes Joe Namath. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, Ken. And he ends up having, and and by the way, I didn't know this. I knew he had bad knee problems. I didn't know he was having severe brain problems, but it makes sense. He'd been tackled so many times. Well, he, uh, a really good friend of his that he played with in Alabama, um, had gone from stumbling to a cane to a walker and eventually into a wheelchair. And... um, he had found hyperbaric chamber, actually the same ones that we have at the center, uh, uh, in Destin, Florida, and got in it and did five days a week for eight weeks and basically came out with a, a brace on his knee. A brace? Say, I, I'm sorry, I need to hear that again. Only a brace on his knee, okay? <laughs> in other words, no wheelchair, no walker, no, no canes. No, and Joe saw that, so he went to a, a hospital in Jupiter, Florida, and went in, had spec scans done, and showed a lot of damage to the brain. And so he started, and he did his five days a week for eight weeks, and did another spec scan. And um, now that's not good enough. So let's do another five days a week for eight weeks. And at that point in time, the spec scan was virtually pretty clean. So it had reversed all those CTEs, cerebral traumatic encephalitis, concussions, Mm -hmm. and go on. So... We know that it does that. We know that it's doing that now for the brain fog in long haulers, you know, and we're seeing right. immense response to that. In fact, um, Mayo and, and a lot of NHO, NIH and WHO are kind of saying hyperbaric is probably one of the best things in the world. For Wait a minute, they finally came out and claimed that? Yeah, they've, they're, they've, they've said that it would probably be one of the better things for uh, for I am delighted COVID to hear that because too. I, you me know, yeah. some of the people who listen to my show know that I got COVID the first time in 2019, November, a friend of mine uh, works with a group of scientists who were doing research in China. They all came back with COVID and they just figured, well, it's, you know, it's the seasonal flu. Although one of them got very, very sick. Interestingly, he was sent to a hospital, I'm told, in China. And uh, apparently they did a vitamin C IV and they did some other things, some Chinese herbs. And the claim that he made that he shared with my friend was I couldn't, I was out in 36 hours. So didn't verify anything, but, but she's a very honest person. And this is what he told her. And so she came to me to help her get through COVID. And I ended up being a long hauler and having COVID for four months from November through March of, so 2019 to 2020. And it did a lot of damage to my lungs and uh, my digestive system, my kidneys, my liver, my heart markers, all had indicated that I had damage, which was really disheartening because I had just had a large array of tests done. Uh, For example, my heart was in in incredible shape. They literally did a calcium CT, a coronary CT scan and found I had zero plaque. Now, I didn't pick up more plaque, but my heart clearly, my inflammatory marker, C-reactive protein, homocysteine, all had significantly elevated. Now I'm getting ready to redo all my tests. The last time I did them, they were half or less of what they were after I had COVID as a long hauler. So I want to really thank you, Ken, because the work that you did with me changed my life. Well, and then we also utilized the cold laser before you went in the chamber, and we'll get into that. Let's let's do that. Let's do that now. Okay, good. Um, Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I'm so sorry. I've just been flagged, and we have to take our second commercial break. Folks, I flagging, have my very dear. I, <laughs> yes. Dr. Nelson Bullmash here. You're listening to another edition of my show, Health Matters, on the UI Media Network. We're so happy you're with us. We're going to talk about the impact of Erconia lasers next. We'll be right back. 
If this content resonates with you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at uimedianetwork.org to stay updated with our uncensored shows. Also, like and follow us at UI Media Network on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and almost all your favorite podcasting platforms. Most importantly, if you're being censored on social media, write to us at contact at uimedianetwork.org to get your message out. And remember, keep raising that frequency. Hey, I'm with my friend and colleague, Dr. Ken Kasky, who owns the amazing recovery center here in, uh, well, I'm going to call it East Cobb. It's Marietta, Georgia. Okay. So uh, the stories are incredible. Let's continue. Let's talk about the Erconia laser therapy. Why do you use them, Ken? And well, I'm, I'm very excited about this because they were really helpful for me. It's interesting. Um, Erconia is the uh, basically the number one cold laser company out there, manufacturer. Um, there are others that are trying to follow suit, um, but Kirkconi has been doing it for 25 years. First cold laser in 1998, okay? And it had one little light and one little diode, and it had about 40 different frequencies that you could do. Well, and cold laser has been, in, from, of course, going back, Russia developed it back in the 1950s. Right. Okay. But it, 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 it's based on photons and photon energy, mm -hmm. okay? And when you use the photon energy at certain wavelengths and certain frequencies, then it actually affects every cell in your body. How does it do that, Ken? Well, it's kind of like a plant. You're, you're shining the light, and then the light hits the leaf, and the leaf hits the, the, the stem, and then the stem gets to the trunk, and then the trunk goes down into the roots. So when you're shining that, that photobiomodulation penetrates deeper, deeper, and deeper, okay? And in fact, um, more power doesn't necessarily mean anything either, okay? Wavelength goes to power, goes to frequencies. And, and photons are measured in, in electrons, so not to get into physics here too much, but... We're, we're hearing a lot now about red light therapy, yes, which is infrared, okay? And those are wavelengths and frequencies that are in the 800s and some even into the 900s, okay? Well, the more power you give, the less energy you give to the photon. So you're actually decreasing mm. the energy that's coming in and penetrating the body. And, and Erconi has always kept that laser at 635, okay? Nanometers wave. Okay. Uh, the wavelength, 635. 635. These other ones have less energy per photon. Okay. Now, Berconi has actually added a violet to there at a 405. And based on the 405, we find that when we incorporate that with the 635, okay, not only does it penetrate deeper and the photon energy is stronger, but it does so much faster, you can get the same results in half the time now. Wow. Okay. Now, now Ken, uh, forgive me, I'm interrupting. I okay. apologize. I just have too many questions and okay. too little time. Do the, you have two different colors. You right. mentioned violet, you mentioned red. Right. Do they alter the cell signaling significantly, the different color? Well, yes, they do. Um, but they basically still go back on the same premise when you have, when you send a photon, then you it hits and it finds a photon receptor. Right. Okay. Which then, of course, transfers into the mitochondria, enhances your physiological changes. So, so one of the things I just heard was you're going to get more cellular energy again. Right. ATP. AT increased ATP, increased cellular energy production, right. just like the hyperbaric oxygen just therapy. Just like the hyperbaric. Okay, okay. So we got that in common now. Right. Now. Do the lasers, as they impact the cells, alter the cell signaling? Yes, they start. They start to be able to communicate together. Got it. Talk okay. about that. And well, in the communication, and and that's what we find where autism is. Autism is the cells cannot communicate. There's been damage right. there, but they cannot communicate within each other. Got it. Okay. okay. And and altering that with the laser, which is why. Just recently, after three blind studies, okay, the Erconia has been approved, okay? I don't know when they're going to put that out there. 
Okay, but on PubMed, um, when we do that laser on on the top of the head, yeah, right? Okay, it's it's really relieving anxiety in an autistic child. Yeah. Okay, and now we've also found that another PubMed study that came out a couple months ago, suppose okay, that when we do specific frequencies on the temporal lobes, okay, that it actually balances your serotonin and dopamine through beta and gamma waves. Wow. To actually help with depression as well. Yeah, I, I have to interrupt you here again, okay. Ken. I'm so sorry. Okay. I, I hope you don't... Brain read, stuff. We, yeah, okay. brain stuff. I hope you don't punch me when we leave here. Stop no. interrupting me now. No. So, but your your information is, is, is so incredibly fascinating. I have to tell you, Ken, I was surprised when I went to your place how many people were there who were getting assistance, and they told me they were getting assistance with anxiety and depression. That kind of surprised me. Well, like you, we, you and I both use high-grade supplementation. Yes, yes. Okay. And when you incorporate that with the energy from the hyperbaric and the cold laser, mm -hmm. and you utilize that, and that's where we've seen our biggest changes, and, and we're, we're not aware. I know that there's people out there trying to put red light in with the mild chambers and things like that. You can't take that and put it in a hard chamber, okay? You can't take anything in there with you, you know. Tell us why, Ken. Uh, because the pressure and the energy and, you know, anything that could possibly even create a spark or anything like that, okay? A you spark in a... A spark, a spark, okay. <laughs> Caught in a chamber is probably not a good idea with pure oxygen. No, no. But at the same time, um, you know, what we find is people, you know, they, they'll try and sneak something in. And what we, we've never seen anything drastic happen like no, that. No, it's just you want to be smart. You want you to be want, preventative yeah. and cautious. Yeah, and that's why we don't, we don't wear perfume in there. We don't wear other things in there. Right, right. You know, no jewelry, those kind of things. But, um, you know, mm. we, when we do the laser, we do it in multiple places. Um, and we'll put that laser. Well, first of all, one of the lasers is the number one FDA approved now for low back pain. Okay. Also, um, pain and inflammation. Right. Right across the board. Okay. So, so now we've got another thing that we share with hyperbaric. Decreased inflammation. Decreased inflammation. And, so, and that and translates, of course, to decreased pain. That's right. Okay. So we're adding that at the same time. And the other thing on one of the, the big chamber, the big laser that we bought is, it's the number one thing now for plantar fasciitis. Fantastic. Okay. And Fantastic. we see drastic changes. That, I mean, my son just told me, one of his friends came in, terrible plantar fasciitis, military guy. He had his second one yesterday, and he came back and he did another one today. And when he came back today, he said, after two, it's already gone. Now, you're talking about with, with the exposure to the lasers? Yeah, just the, just the just laser. Just the laser. So he just didn't do the, the hyperbaric chamber? No, one. all he did was the ah. laser on the plantar fasciitis. It, okay. Was there both colors, violet and red, or just red? No, just, it's the violet and red. Violet the, and the, red? The big one. Okay. That's, Ken, that's incredible. I, I have I a know. question I want to ask sure. you about this. So you mentioned that you and I take very high-grade supplements. Yes. Is yeah. there any evidence that either the hyperbaric oxygen therapy work or the Arconia laser therapy help us get better delivery through the cell membrane into the cytosol of the cell with regard to our nutrients? Oh, of course. Of course. You're opening that up, and you're, and you're able to actually pass through. Um, and, that's what, and that's where we, when we get to uh, foot baths, Okay. okay. Because foot baths, we're doing the opposite. We're taking things out, and we're doing it through osmosis, okay? And that's when we can take a particle or a supplement that can, we can pass through the cell membrane. Right. Directly into it, right? So, so I just want to make sure our yeah. guests are, are hearing this correctly. Because right. this is a really important point. One of the things that a lot of my listeners have trouble with as they get older, and I'm, I'm, I probably should... Even though I'm only 20, I should probably throw myself <laughs> in this camp too. That's right. It seems, Ken, that that I have, as as I'm getting older, I have more difficulty digesting and assimilating supplements, even though they're very high quality. Right. So that's why I'm asking specifically if both of these technologies, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the Arconian laser therapy, help with greater delivery transmembrane, meaning taking these nutrients as they're enzymatically shuttled through the cell membrane into the core of the cell so that the cell can be healthier and you can have a more efficacious delivery method of the nutrients in the cell. Of course. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I, I'm no, sure no. that's very yes. obvious to you. I just, right. I, I just was, was hoping you could validate that. Right. And we see that, we see that so much with people that 
are coming in and even with their claustrophobia or or their anxiety and the things with the covid because their brains can't concentrate anymore yeah they can't function thank you for mm -hmm. saying that so you know when we do that and we give those good supplements you know and you get into liposomals okay right and mycinalized type things that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that when they go in i mean they're immediately into the cells, cells. right? Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, they yeah. don't have to digest Right, them, right. High, you know? high digestive. Uh, yeah. They're very digestible and very assimilable. Yes, that's right. Can I, by the way, I, I, I want to say one more thing. And you were so good about this with me. I, I've had patients say, Nelson, I'm terrified to go into the level of, of, of the, uh, the hyperbaric chambers that you guys have. I, I just want to take a moment. I want to speak to that. Sure. I'd be remiss if I wasn't because you know... I had a couple situations occur in my life early on where I was trapped and I became extremely claustrophobic. I was trapped. I was camping on Lake Superior shoreline when I was in my teens and my friends thought it'd be funny to pull all the stakes out. We were staked in, with our tent on the shoreline of Lake Superior. And what happened was with no stakes, I got wrapped up like a mummy in the tape. I Suddenly I couldn't breathe. I was breathing in the tent. And I don't know why, but I went into a twisting motion and I was so tight I couldn't breathe. And so I was terribly claustrophobic. I also got no comments, no fat boy jokes. I got caught in a place called a wormhole in Kentucky in one of the big caves. And I couldn't get out of it. And I was extremely claustrophobic. And you were so calm with me about that. And you said, Nelson, it won't be a problem, I promise. And well, it wasn't. Tell, tell us why it wasn't a problem. Well, they're clear, first of all. And we, we, we don't take you rapidly into dosage and pressures, okay? And why is We're, that so important? Because, you know, you have, to, you have to be calm. We want you relaxed. We want you comfortable. You have to be able to clear your ears, first of all, because it's pressure building. Mm -hmm. Just instead of going in an airplane, you're going in to dive. So you need to be able to do that. And we're communicating on our intercom with you all the time. Thank you for saying that. Watching you at all times, being able to do things. How are you doing? Breathing properly, okay? Not uh, keeping you calm, okay? Yeah, and he, I, I have to, I have to give a shout out to you for that because when I tell you I was severely claustrophobic, like I, I went in there thinking, I, you know, I could die in this thing. Like, and, and that was real to me. And Ken was sitting there in the intercom, hey, Nelson, you're good, you're good. And he had a movie on, already in this clear acrylic chamber. So it was so clear, I was looking up as if there was nothing separating me from watching the TV. I, like I'd forgotten I was even in a chamber. But I want to—I really want to thank you for that because you made the experience doable for me. Oh, my son's even better at doing that with people than I am. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a good thing with the family. Thank you for doing that because I, I want people to know because I've actually had a fair number of people go, oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't do that. And you can. I promise you, when I tell you how claustrophobic I was, I, I still can't believe I've been in there 18 times, and I look forward to it, because it's a 90-minute session where I have nothing to do but kick back, relax, look up, and, and watch my favorite movies on Netflix or, right. or Hulu. All right. right, so let's do this, Ken. We've got, uh, we've got one more segment. Let's, let's take our last commercial break, and then we'll, we'll finish up here. We'll be right back. Got Dr. Ken Kasky here. And he has a lot of incredible information. And he carries it out. Tell them how they can get a hold of you real quickly. Right um, here in, in Georgia. Advanced Recovery Therapy, uh, dot com. Uh, check out our website. It's actually under reconstruction. Most of it's pretty good at this point in time. Um, we've 770 uh, 321 uh, 0696. Uh, leave a number. We'll get back to you at least within 24 hours. We'd like to bring you in for a, a, an initial consult that's co that's complimentary and go over different systems, protocols, whatever we can do to help you get back to a healthier status. We'll be right back. I'm Dr. Nelson Volmash, and you're listening to another edition of Health Matters. Safety Air Purification Systems an air purifier with robust technologies that can filter, sterilize, and re-energize large quantities of air at a whisper quiet volume. 
It features a proprietary HEPA RX and pre filter that act as a capturing layer, going for big particles and ultra fine particles. Its next layer is an activated carbon filter that absorbs and captures volatile organic compounds and noxious odors. From viruses to bacteria, its kill chamber packs a three punch layer to destroy over 99% of anything that remains in the air. And while most air purifiers stop at the capture or kill stage, Safety Air Purifier takes it one step further, re-energizing clean, pure, sterilized air by creating negative ions within the revitalizing chamber. The Safety Air Purifier also monitors air quality in real time, utilizing smart sensor technology that helps you breathe better air, increase productivity, and improve morale. But don't just take our word for it. Ask the thousands of workplaces we've helped. Fortune 500 companies, dental offices, senior facilities, K-12 schools and universities, and professional sports teams. The Safety Air Purifier's robust technology combined to protect you against indoor air pollutants and viruses to make the most powerful yet quietest air purifier. Safety Air Purification. Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson Bullmesh, you're listening to another edition of Health Matters, and I am so grateful. I'm grateful that I have Dr. Ken Kasky with me, and I'm so grateful that he sponsored my show, and I am really grateful that he's taken such great care of me. If you're, even if you listen to me, here's the thing, here's what's really neat about this. I really want to shift people's perspectives. One of the reasons I've done this show is because we're pain chasers. Right, you know, Nelson, I have back pain. Nelson, I have shoulder pain. Nelson, I have neck pain. Nelson, I have headaches. Nelson, I have fatigue. I really want to help you shift your gears, because by the time you have pain, and some of you may argue, Nelson, I was in a car accident. Yeah, that's why I have pain. I got it. But a lot of people get pain. They end up with problems because they lose track of the fact that you have to be actively participating in taking care of yourself. This notion of, now my body will handle itself. No, it won't. There's far too much pollution, whether it be EMF pollution, whether it be chemical, whether it be metal, whether it be air quality, whether it be food quality. You can't go blindly through life anymore. Because if you do, you will end up likely prematurely dying of cancer, heart attacks, chronic degenerative diseases, The whole reason I have done my show is to educate you, to give you an opportunity to see things that you might not ordinarily get exposed to. And Ken is such a pearl of wisdom. He has over three decades of experience. And as I mentioned, I went to him directly. He changed my life. I was not breathing well. If you don't breathe well, guess what you don't have? You don't have energy. You live in a state of anxiety and depression because your air or oxygen is starved. Please take advantage of the information I put out on my shows. Please check out Ken's website. Please get in for care because you don't want to be like the two friends of mine that I lost two weeks ago who didn't take as great a care of themselves and they ended up leaving this world prematurely. You can't go blindly forward if you want to really thrive. You've got to take your own health care into your own hands, and you've got to be a participant in your life and the quality of your life. You can't, I have people get a hold of me, and they're like, no, no, I don't watch what I eat. No, no, I don't take supplements. There's still people nearly, you know, two and a half to three years out of this COVID. And it really is close to three years because there were people already getting it for sure by November, December, 2019. You cannot... Tell me you're not taking vitamin A, vitamin D3, K2, maybe zinc, maybe C. You can't tell me that three years into the pandemic because you got to have your head in the sand not to know that you should be taking those. I said that over, over three years ago, and I've said that for over 30 years. Ken, let's get back to you. Thank you again for being here. Let's talk briefly about cryo, and then listen to me. I want to get into your saunas. Okay. Because you've got some really interesting saunas, and we're going to wind up with that, okay? okay? good. Talk to us about why you have cryotherapy. Well, we have cryotherapy because it's been shown um, uh, very similar. It's three minutes, uh, negative 140 to 160. It's like an athlete would do uh, an hour ice bath for the most part. It takes away most of all your inflammation, as you found. 
And it also um, helps with um, when you take away that inflammation, part of that stress, you sleep better as well. And, and the chambers are like number one of the number one things for insomnia to fix it, you know. We have people who just rave about All, all that. I know is I had much, 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 did I say much? Yeah, much okay. less pain, Ken. Right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, and short on time here, let's delve into the saunas. Okay. Um, Wendy Myers, you can always go to her website. She's like number one detox and that, and highly recommends the saunas. We looked and looked. I had a sauna and had another sauna, but we finally ended up with the Sunlight and Impulse. Sunlighten is the only one that has a patented solo carbon heater. It also has all three wavelengths. We have near infrared, okay, and that's the shortest. It penetrates the skin. It's the most effective for your skin renewal and your cell health, wounds, and tissue. Then we have also the mid wavelength, okay. It penetrates a little deeper, soft tissue where inflammation occurs. It expands your blood vessels, increases circulation which then gives you more oxygen again, okay? And then we also have the far infrared, which is the longest wavelength, and that's what we do, so that will penetrate and for detoxing you, okay? And those saunas literally, okay, um, detox, relax, they have individual programs that are tuned to all those different wavelengths. When you get in, there's a beautiful iPad, you can watch a podcast, you can do whatever, but we have six different things. Detoxing, relaxing, pain relief, weight loss, increased circulation, and purifying your skin, okay? And all of those, while you're in there, sweating, getting rid of that. And then what we do is, what had happened accidentally, and I think we've told you this story, okay? I had someone at the house get in the chamber, got out of the chamber, saw my daughter doing a foot bath, okay? Wanted to do that too. What we also do is we do a detox laser frequency in between that. So mm -hmm. when we do that, chamber, laser, we hit the thoracic ducts, we hit the thymus for immune, and we hit the adrenal kidneys with the laser. Then we put them in a foot bath. And what was coming out was totally different than any other foot baths I had seen. Okay? Fascinating. And I had seen bad ones. And then... In 19, 2015, when the sauna came out, the far infrared said it was the only thing that was taking plastics out of us, and we're all full of microplastics plastics, now. absolutely. Okay? And so then we would start with the, the sauna, the laser detoxing, and the foot bath. Again, what was coming out in the water was totally different. Of course, we don't have a little $600 foot bath on eBay. We have medical foot baths, okay? Medical grade. Medical grades. And these are literally changing ions and then drawing magnetic things out. So what's coming out in the water are metals, our lymph, and all the other things mm -hmm. as we're pulling them out, okay? And that's basically when we put all those things together and they all complement one another. Hyperbaric gives the oxygen and the inflammation, the cryo, the laser, the, the programming for saunas, laser, foot baths, and we do that in a good program, too, that we've set up now with a whole detox area in the back, okay? Couples can come in and do them together. I mean, what a good way to spend an hour and a half on a Saturday, come in and get clean and walk out feeling like, like you're walking yeah, on yeah, air, yeah. right? I love that. Yeah, so. So you yeah. guys, I, I, I want to talk about this for just a second. I want to kind of summarize this. And tell you what I'm hearing, and you okay. add, Ken, to any, anything that you feel is appropriate. What I'm hearing is all of these decrease inflammation. Yes. All of these therapies increase ATP synthesis, which means cellular energy production. Well, and also, because you're doing that, and you're dilating the blood vessels, and you're doing those things, you're seeing weight loss, you're seeing decrease in blood pressure. Sure, yeah. sure. Uh, all those things. So, so Ken, this, many of these must target an increase in nitric oxide production. Yes. Which is fantastic because, folks, one mm. of the, Ken, one of the things that was really hard for me was when I had cancer, I went in and, and had some, a variety of tests done. And one of the things they did was they tested my circulatory system. And it's really difficult when a gentleman looks at you and says, how old are you? And I was in my late 30s, early 40s when I had cancer. 
I think I was starting, excuse me, let, let me say for sure I was in my early 40s. And probably had it, though, in my, would make sense I had it in my 30s, too. And I'll never forget this. He said, I'm sorry, I wish I remembered my exact age. I don't. But the, the gist of the story is he looked at me and he said, I'm sorry, how old are you? And I repeated, and he said, listen, you have a problem. You have a serious problem. He said, your circulatory system is not working effectively at all. He said, your micro, micro capillary beds were so bad. He said, you're like an 80-something-year-old. He said, you look like you work out. I said, I work out really hard. He said, well, you better figure that out. If you don't, that's going to be what takes you out of this world. And what I'm hearing is all of the therapies you've just mentioned, from the hyperbaric oxygen therapy to the laser, I don't know about the foot bath. Does it, does it help with improving circulation, or is it more of just let's take the burden of toxicity off of the body? Well, it does all of that at the same time, because in order to dump that, you have to open up your okay. circulation. You have to so open it does up. have that as a component as well. Right. And then, right. Yep. And, you know. You know, everything is, is, we're all electrically charged. Yes. Okay, so. Right. It's, when we can we can do that, it will bond to those particles, those mm -hmm. finite, tiny particles, and that's what's getting pulled out, you know, right. as we go. But, you know, yes, uh, and the circulatory system, that's where the hyperbaric comes in. That's why even the medical people use it for the diabetes, because it'll push that into their limbs mm. and th so they don't have to amputate. It'll kill gangrene. It'll do all, it'll, it's most antiviral, antibacterial. Nothing lives in oxygen. And then when you incorporate the violet from the laser, which is also now FDA approved right. for acne, psoriasis, eczema, oh. skin, any skin it issue. Helps, it helps eliminate Eliminates that. We've wow. had teenage girls. Now come you're in, just showing off. Severe <laughs> acne, three or four sessions. I mean, three or four sessions. Clear, clear skin. Yeah, it's like... You know my daughter's going to probably force me just preemptively to buy one of these. <laughs> Dad, you're buying one of those tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's phenomenal, you know. So, Ken, I have, I have the, at the end of my show, before I say goodbye and goodnight to everyone, I have something called Final Thoughts. What would you like to leave our, our viewing audience, our listening audience with today? What thoughts would you like to leave them with? Well, this facility actually came about because of my autistic daughter and not giving up. And actually, I could go into that for quite a while, but there's a lot of divine intervention that happened in mm -hmm. this facility to get the doors open. Yeah, and, and as I mentioned, you really have a world-class center. It is absolutely beautiful, and the healing modalities that you have are incredible at improving the health of others. Where would somebody start? What do you recommend if they came into your center? Well, first of all, we would sit down and we'd have a consult, you know, as to mm -hmm. what issues they, they're looking, what conditions they have, what issues. We have a lot of people come in, actually, and just say, there's nothing wrong with me. Is this going to help me? Well, we'll have track people come in. Oh, one, well, that's a good story in itself. She came in. She runs every weekend at least a 5K, okay? Mm -hmm. And she had done, never done the oxygen, so she came in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before the Saturday run and to see how she would do before the, the previous week. And on that 5K, she knocked off 45 seconds. Incredible. Because Incredible. of the oxygen those three days. Yeah. Beautiful. So, I know. Ken, it has been an absolute pleasure. His information will be included in the... Okay, Beautiful. I want to thank everyone. I don't know how many of you know this. I'm going to put my show on hold. I've had a lifetime goal that I would teach nationally and internationally my torque reset system. Not only, excuse me, I shouldn't, I, I've had a lifetime goal that I would teach in this area. I am working with a world-class team, and we're going to get me up and running later this year. So I'm going to take a temporary hiatus for my show, Health Matters. Doesn't mean you won't see me on other shows. I will be interviewing people. I just won't be working at this time with UI Media Network. I want to thank Tim Ray. I want to thank Ashley Abel. I love her name. I love her. She's amazing. She's been invaluable. She's the director producer right now behind the screen. Ashley, thank you for everything. We love you, Nelson. Thank you so much. I, I, I could not do this without the amazing guests. 
and the people here at UI Media. I love all of you. I'm so grateful that I was permitted some four years ago to do my show, Health Matters. You will see me again. I promise you. Thank you for joining me. My shows are all stored. They'll be kept here at UI Media, right? And they're going to be on my Dr. Nelson Bulmesh's YouTube channel. Thank you again. For joining us on this edition of Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bulmesh, where we help you discover how to ignite your mind, body, and spirit connection. Join us next time when we will bring you more exciting guests and engaging topics. Meanwhile, feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit. The United Intentions Foundation and its associates take no responsibility for the opinions and statements made by the talk show.